You know what's funny? Is I have a four-door car. I'm usually the only one in it. I never sit in the back seat. It is very nice. I mean, this seat is where I drive. Look at all the space I have. I have a ton of space. And I also have a nice little cushion here. Yes. I feel like I'm an executive. What is going on, everybody? This is another vlog that I'm doing. Uh, this will be probably vlog number five. I think. I don't know. But today I'm on... This is a Friday. Uh, I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but this is a Friday. Um, it's May 30th. But uh, I'm on a bit of a fuel quest right now. Uh, I am very low on fuel. So that means my car, for number one, my car is very light now. But number two means, because it's light, means also I probably don't have a lot of uh, range left. And I'm trying to get to a gas station. And since there isn't any, hardly any gas stations out where I live, I have to drive like 15 minutes to get to one. I pull out of my my residential area where I live, and also my little fuel light comes on. And on this car, I don't know if it's like an Australian thing or something, but when it means low fuel, it means low fuel. It doesn't mean like, oh, you got still like 60, 70, like my dad's uh, GMC truck he has. When it says low fuel, you can still got like 90 miles of range left when the low fuel light comes on. This, it just says range low. Here, let me see if I can find the little screen where it says it. I think it's hysterical range low it doesn't even count down to the miles the miles just like stop and it just goes range low so yeah that's a it's a bit nerve-wracking my gauge is in the red uh, i probably got about a gallon left is my guess so one means i'm very light like i said which means i have a great power to weight ratio right now but two means i could probably not even race or do anything and i probably run out of fuel so with that said Everything else in the car is going fine. Uh, sorry guys, I haven't been uploading a lot to YouTube lately. I've been kind of busy doing other stuff. Uh, you know, housework, all sorts of other stuff I've been doing. We've been getting so much rain here in Colorado that it's just been insane. Every day, I mean look, it, it, hopefully you can see outside. I don't know if you can, but it's insane on how, and there's a dude with a camper just like pulls right out in front of me. Dude, did you forget you had a camper on the back of you? My goodness, people. But anyway, it's been raining so much here. Now it's kind of let up. It was there for a while where it like starts raining and it doesn't stop for like a whole week is what it seemed like. But it's now uh, more thunderstormy if that makes any sense. So instead of it spreading that rain out over a week, it decides to dump half of that in about 15 minutes as it did yesterday. Yesterday we had a thunderstorm come through like around 2 o'clock in the afternoon and it just went it just went berserk around here it, it was it was a ton of rain so yeah that's the weather has been going on around here it's just been it's so much rain we have like 11 inches of, of rainfall so far so that's been insane uh temperatures have been really nice um not too hot at all it's been awesome i love the summer the early the late spring early summer time frame everything's green it's awesome so yeah it's good uh race car weather or uh special car weather that you take your car out my car right now is filthy um if any of you don't know what a miller is it's a moth uh i think miller is a miller is like a uh a nebraska term since my family's from nebraska but uh we have a ton of them and so where i keep my car in our barn that we have that dog is like seriously hanging out the window that's awesome but yeah but where i keep my car in our like garage barn thing that we have on our property there must be hundreds of them every night so they poop all over my car so i gotta take care of that today too so yeah more importantly though i need gas that's the more important thing so yeah oh yeah let me talk about another thing i filmed a car show over at mead colorado on monday uh fantastic little car show the only issue was is uh the music they played messed with the copyrights. So I had this nice video. Um, I didn't overlay any music over it. I just let the ambience, and there was music playing there. I was kind of worried that it might conflict with the copywriting things. But, uh, so yeah, it did. 
So I'm gonna try to figure out what I wanna do there. It's got some awesome footage. Look at the puppy. He's so sweet looking. I wonder if it was a little girl or a boy. But yeah, it's a, uh, it was a really awesome car show. I got some great footage I wanna show you guys, but uh, YouTube won't let me put it up because of the copyrights. If, it, if I do put it up, it'll just be silent. It, because you know the copyright law and I don't really want to do that because it kind of loses the vibe of the whole car show so I'm gonna try to figure out what I want to do there but I got some really awesome footage some great classic cars man there are some awesome cars there beautiful cars Corvettes Mustangs anything you want it was there really nice driver quality too these aren't like full-on show cars these cars people use and that's what I love to see is people using their cars so yeah also um, if you guys are commenting on my videos and I don't get back to you right away um, don't like get all angry uh, I'm starting to get more and more comments every day I wake up and I pull up my Google Plus account and it's like whoa got all these comments all of a sudden and uh, I'm really bad with comments responding to comments so I'm sorry if I'm not getting back to any of y'all y'all I'm not from the south but anyway so yeah that's uh yeah that's that's uh that's that also uh some comments i tried to resp respond to one person's comment i forget who it was but it, all i could do was thumbs up the comment it didn't let me reply or it, it just said report or thumbs up it didn't give me any thing i don't know it was weird but yeah so yeah i'm just uh still doing vlogs that's why i'm i'm planning on doing more of them a week i'm kind of I've been real busy. I haven't been able to uh, upload too many things, and uh, my internet. Oh yeah, my internet is terrible where I live. It's just, like super slow. Don't turn on me. It's counting down five, four. Well, that dude just like took off. That's interesting. So yeah, but for you guys that watch my channel because of my uh, G8, I will tell you nothing has gone wrong with it. Everything's fine. Tire patch that they fixed after I had my flat. That's fine. Um, probably due for an oil change this up and coming summer at some point I think I'm like 2,000 miles away from that I don't really drive a whole lot um, I work out of a home office with my uh, dad's business so yeah I don't really drive a whole lot what are they doing here huh looks like I'm gonna make it to a gas station and my gas gauge just dripped down to nothing so now it's saying I have nothing in my tank yeah so yeah. All right, this can be a short little video. I'm gonna be pulling into Conoco Station up here. Just uh, thought I'd do a little update. I'm gonna make another vlog pretty soon, probably probably Monday. I have no clue when it'll be update because it seems to take forever for stuff to get uploaded. But yeah, my car is doing fine. I'll uh, finish that that same that segment. Nothing's gone wrong with it. Been a great car. It's very reliable. You can have fun with it. You know, it's just an awesome car. So yeah. Thanks to y'all for watching. Uh, check out the rest of my videos on there. I will be doing some more car shows, hopefully without music. So that way, there goes an STI, brand new one. Hopefully if they don't have a whole bunch of music going. But uh, So yeah, I'll be uh, trying to do that. I will be leaving in a week to go on a camping trip in South Dakota. Probably film some stuff up there. Uh, show our towing rig that we have set up now. Our new setup. Ooh, that sounds nice, whatever that is. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's kind of up and coming. Oh yeah, big big thing is cruise night in Longmont, Colorado, Main Street. It's June sixth. I think it starts at like six or seven o'clock at night. Always a huge turnout for the early one, and an even bigger turnout in the late summer when they do it again in July. It's just going to be an awesome time. I will be filming that, and I will probably be driving that Shelby GT five hundred that I had. So yeah, I will uh, see you guys all next time, and uh, take it easy, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you're gonna buy a Prius, please get it in a proper color at least, not some sort of gold. See that down there, that Prius? Please don't buy one in that color. If you have to buy a Prius, get one at least in red, blue, black, white, silver, but not in gold. I know there's people out there like it, but no. Just don't, please.